I think we're uh, a little guilty of um, being getting complacent after an easy win on Saturday night. Uh, tried to tell the team that BU hadn't lost in nine or ten games, so we were going to get a good opponent. I thought BU was very opportunistic in the first period. We, we weren't playing great. Uh, I've seen like every chance they got was in the back of the net. Give the kids credit. They fought back. I thought the second half of the game we played pretty well. I thought we were going to find a way in the third period, especially after we scored the fourth goal. Uh, the puck was basically in their end the whole period. I um, thought we were wearing them down. Just didn't, uh, you can't dig yourself a 4 nothing hole and expect to win. Uh, but the, I think if we start games better, we'll be in good shape. Tonight we didn't start very well. Was it important to still see that fight in the third period and see them climb back into that game even after you scored it? again to, to keep fighting back and keep getting that lead back within one or two? Well, I don't, I've never seen a team quit. I wouldn't expect them to quit. They play hard all the time. They just got to decide to start when the puck drops in the first period to play hard. That was a problem tonight. Um, you know, again, I don't know if we gave up that many scoring chances for, to get five goals scored against us. Um, but at the same time, we, we should have started the game better decided to start playing in the second period and just the hole was too deep. What was the reason to go to loop with anything and specifically like the thought, okay, this, this is it? Every puck was going in the net. Needed some saves. What's the message to Matt Murray after the game going forward to say whatever, I guess whatever you want? He'll be fine. He'll bounce back. Yeah, he had an off night. He's a good goalie. Um, uh, haven't, yeah, haven't, I don't know if I've ever pulled Matt before. I probably have. You guys will go back and check. But um, it's 4 nothing. You know, Pavisic hasn't had any game time this year. So it's a chance to shake things up, give Pavisic some time, see if, see if he can, uh, you know, see how he plays. And, um, and Matt just didn't have it tonight. What did you take away from the way Pavisic played? Not much. He didn't have many shots, did he? Wasn't, really wasn't much to evaluate him on. I know you mentioned that you challenged Matt Kessel a lot throughout the course of this year. Goal and assist, team I six shots tonight. Were you happy with what you got of him? Yep, I played pretty well. He's playing harder. Um, he's, he's scored so many goals through his first two years. I think he gets a little too focused on the offensive side of the game when he's a big, strong kid who should be really, really good defensively first. And I, I thought our back end tonight was was subpar. Um, we didn't move pucks out of our own zone as well as we should have the first goal. We have complete control of the puck. I think it's first goal. We reversed the puck great right to them. And happened a number of times where our defensemen had full possession and gave it back to them. So I think uh, in this team, our defense drives this team. They play well as a group. We're a pretty good team. If, if they struggle, we struggle. Our forwards are pretty consistent in what we're going to get every night. Our defense is a little up and down. Do you think it hurt at all to not have Theo in the lineup tonight after he's been such a staple of that back end for so many years? A thousand percent. We talk a lot about learning through adversity. What lessons do you want to impart on your team from this outside of just a slow start? But then also, what are you proud of your team in the way that they battled back in the, second, in the last two years? Usually, <clears throat> they're a good group of kids, so I'm usually proud of them. But I don't accept inconsistency, not for a second. And to start so strong at Northeastern, you were there both nights. Two good teams to start so well one night and then to see the opposite. I think that determines the game. I think how we start, we start well, we, we, we usually carry it throughout the game. We don't start well. We're uh, inconsistent through the game. So, of course, it, it was it was kind of fun to dig out of that hole. And I I thought we were going to find a way. Just the way the kids were playing, the energy on the bench. Uh, I, I I've never in my time here as a team quit on me, and I would never expect that to happen. Uh, they they got mad, they got angry, and, and worked hard. And um, puck. Uh, you know, in the way did we deserve to win, but I thought we, the puck went in our net too easily tonight, and 
didn't we had to work pretty hard to get it in the back of their net the kids didn't work they worked hard I thought the last two periods we would have played like that in the first period I think I think we win that game but not the case Just keep communicating with them and focusing on practice what we want from them. Um, it's mostly about communication and then showing video, doing things in practice. Um, just like any any anything else, it's how you attack it. I think you, you guys don't get hung up on the individual games too much. Is it because that you get to see progress again so soon and just be able to get back on the ice and, and Ask me uh, at the end of the first period, Friday night. Well, they don't want to talk to you about it. <laughs> Text me. I'll let you know. <laughs> Did you um, see the replay of that shot that everyone thought was a goal? I saw it up above. It looked like it went off the post, and uh, it looked like the goalie fell on, it went under the goalie, and I didn't think it was going to be close. And So we, we called upstairs and didn't get any kind of positive so I didn't waste. Uh, didn't want to waste my time out. Thought we were, I was hoping to get a chance at the end of the game to use it with a, you know the goalie out or to pull the goalie. So um, I usually have a pretty good sense on those things. And to me, watching it live and then watching the replay, I, I didn't think there was a chance. So I didn't. I didn't ask to review. Do you think it was important to get the goal right after that to, to sort of keep the energy up? Which goal? Uh, the goal right after the one that could have gone in the... Did we score? Did, did we score right after that? Yeah. Yeah, that was important. <laughs> we, we, we were trying to do that. <laughs> Anything more? You had mentioned you were hoping to get more people in there. It seemed like the students really showed out tonight. What did, I guess, what did you think of them and just how, how much of them were there? What it was outstanding. I, uh, you know, we came out the first period there seemed like they were the only people here where it's thousands of students and, and that's great it's important for you know a big university to support their athletic teams and I know it's a struggle in, in some of the other sports and it's unfortunate because these kids all work hard and, and the, the students should come out and support every every team and I'm I'm grateful that they come out to support us uh, you know I just as I told Jess Smith the you know, you get that full house and you just, you know, you wish you would have found a way to win or come back and so they'll come back again. But I think you have to appreciate how hard the kids worked. And believe me, it's 4 nothing. There's a lot of teams that will just games over, wave the flag. The kids fought hard and found a way to make it a really close hockey game. So I hope, hope people appreciate that about, about this team. You know, nobody's perfect. We try to be, but uh, we don't give up. Well, I, I think we accomplished a lot last year. Check the record books. We, we won a couple championships. Um, but your point is, yeah, of course it's fun to have fans. It's we're all we're all dying to get back to normalcy, and <clears throat> tonight felt it felt like normal, you know, and have have the fans and. And they bring so much energy. Uh, this is a great building to play in when, you know, things are going and even if you're, you're, you're fighting to, to get back in the game. Um, just, it's really appreciated by, by the players and the coaches and administration, everybody. And you're not going to win every game. But if you can, again, if fans can recognize that the team's trying hard, that's, you know, hopefully they come back. Um. When you get down four nothing like that, what what is the mentality you become on the bench to, to sort of claw back into that game the way that you guys did tonight? Um, I mean it's just one at a time. I mean, for us putting pucks in the net, it's just one at a time. Doing the simple things right, getting pucks to the net, you know, just winning your battles. You don't really focus on the big four on the on the board so so much. You just focus on doing the little things right and just keep working away and just chipping at it. And I mean I thought we did that, but uh, I think we dug ourselves a little bit too big of a hole in the beginning. Matt Murray had skated or played every minute of the, game, of the season before, and maybe through the second. When 
a goalie gets pulled like that and make the change to, to bring in Luke, um, what has that said to you guys as skaters, like, um, especially someone making his debut? Yeah, it was definitely on us. We didn't come out the way we wanted to. Uh, like you said, they scored four first, and uh, Pavisic came in, and we just needed something to get us going a little bit. Uh, I thought we played better after that. <clears throat> Started winning a few more battles, but uh, like Trey said, we kind of dug ourselves in too big of a hole, and uh, I thought Pavisic did well today. What was the major difference from the first period to the third period? Uh, you know, I would just say just competing, being ready to play. I feel like they're very fired up for the game. I mean, from the way they played. I mean, I thought we had a good first couple shifts, and then they kind of held possession of the puck and made some plays and scored goals, um, similar to what, like what we did to Northeastern a couple nights ago. Um, they kind of did to us, and it's just basically just not being ready to play and coming off of the second, just having some good energy and regardless of what the score was. Don't get down on yourself or quit on the team or anything like that. Just say just competing pretty much. You know, Colin Felix tonight, so obviously you're down, you know, one of the alternate captains. What does that mean for you, know, you guys in leadership roles and how do you guys uh, manage that him on the back end? Uh, I think it's just a next guy up mentality. That's a, a big part of our program. Everyone uh, competes every day in practice. So although it is, uh, we did miss him tonight. It it, uh, it just means next guy up. We just got to compete that much harder. And I uh, thought Alger did pretty well. He uh, stepped up at the beginning. And yeah. You guys don't seem to get too wrapped up in the in one game, one way or another. Is that like a, a car thing, a culture thing? And is that important after both both good last two games, but the big one and then the loss? Uh. Well, I will say that, like, we don't like losing at all. And it's not something that, like, uh, is going to, you know, affect how we play next, per se, in a negative way. But it's definitely going to be a motivating factor. We'll dissect the film, look at everything. Carve will do a great job, you know, showing us what we did wrong, where we need to be better. Um, but we don't take losses lightly in any way, at home, away, wherever it is, against anyone. We don't want to lose games. We, we should win every game, as Carve says. So, um, you know. We're just not really happy with losing, but I mean, we just got something to look forward to. You mentioned the dissection. It seems like Carver talked about starting to find yourself. Is there? Are you guys starting to feel that way as well that you are sort of figuring out what you're supposed to be as you guys get this far into the season? I think we've definitely seen it. Sometimes it's all about our start. Uh, tonight we didn't have it, but when we, when we come out at the beginning of the game competing. Um, I think that's that shows that's our identity. That's what we want to have, and when we come out ready to play, that's usually uh, <clears throat> helps the game go our way. A lot can be said about growing through adversity. What do you guys take away from essentially the two halves of this game? You know, the first half where maybe you didn't get the hot start that you wanted, but then being able to battle back. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> it's definitely good that we were able to battle back. Um, that shows something about this team that there's no quit. Uh, but it's about being consistent. And the first half, I don't think we were consistent. It was BU's game. They, they had a lot of possession with the puck, um, and I felt like we were chasing it a lot. And then, you know, when time comes and we need to be urgent and desperate, I thought that was great that we did that. But it just needs to be consistent all the way through game, all the way through the game, 60 minutes from the drop of the puck. It can't be in and out, this period, that period, whatever it is. Carve talked about how the defense is kind of the, um, has been inconsistent season so far, you know, in a sense, and how it's also the backbone. As the leader of the defense, how, how can you kind of teach consistency maybe to the younger players or kind of make sure that consistency is there going forward on the next basis? Yeah, I think the, the two biggest things for us being consistent is competing in our D zone, uh, engaging in battles, winning battles. I think that's the biggest thing. And then another big part of our, uh, the way we play is playing the speed, and that's just uh, getting pucks up quick, moving pucks quick to the forwards. Uh, and I think when we're doing both of those things, uh, we, we play very well. And it's also helping relay that message to the younger guys and, and everyone else. <clears throat> and yeah.